Hello and welcome to my playthrough of the third entry of one of the darkest fighting game series. Time to play Vampire Savior. Here's my settings for this playthrough. I'm playing this game on 2, the default difficulty setting. And I'm changing the language of the game to English. So I'm using Baby Hood. And we're now finding Bishamon, the ghostly samurai. <laughs> what I'm going to be doing in this video is two things. The first is to complete three matches with a special victory and not lose a life. One of which is an EX victory and the other is a Dark Force victory. The other thing I'm doing is clearing the game that losing a life is being two opponents with a specific EX move. Which in BBO's case, it's Beautiful Memory. There are two special events that will happen when I do those, so this will essentially be a complete playthrough of the game. Oh. Oh. Okay. Looks like I'm unable to beat him with beautiful memory, so I just defeat him the other way. At least I got a Dark Force figure on him. Next up we have Sasquatch. And I love the stage, it's so peaceful. Oh, I almost got, um, into his, uh, frozen puddle there. Sasquatch is not too hard to fight without losing a life, but there's some points where he could be quite aggressive, so be careful. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh good, got him right there, great. Don't 
Now, next up, we have Rikyo, the merman. He's also one of the hardest characters to beat without losing a single life. Like, I've always struggled when fighting against him in both this version and when I played this game in the arcades. Alright. Okay. He's really scary up close. I'm just trying to be as careful as possible. Alright. Okay. I usually fight him as well as most characters defensively, and only really hit him with physical attacks when given the chance. Okay. Doing all right against him so far. Okay. Um. All right. Okay. We're off to a good start here. Usually when I feel like he's about to use his spinning current, I use BB Hood's Smile Missile down to encounter them. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Alright. Oh. Okay. The character's expressions whenever they're burned is always hilarious. Rikyo Sea Rage there actually looks like Felicia's Super Sand Splash from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Maybe Felicia was thinking about the Sea Rage when Rikyo used it against her, so she came up with her own version in which she used the sand instead. Great. Awesome. To be two opponents with beautiful memory. That's exactly me. <laughs> Now we have BB Hood's rival, John Talbane. Oh, we both got hit. Oh. Okay. Right now, I just want to say this match between these two rivals taking place on Baby Hood's stage is just perfect. John Talvane's essentially fighting against Baby Bonnie Hood on her turf. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, aww. Oh. Oh, jeez. He doesn't know when to... He doesn't know when to quit. Oh, that can't be good. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. And the Little Red Riding Hunter defeats the Not-So-Bad Wolf. Now we have Victor the Frankenstein. Whenever BB Hood fights against Victor in arcade boat, she'll always fight him in war agony. Okay. 
Oh. Oh. It, yeah, he's essentially the Zangi for the, of this game. Oh. Oh. Oh, dang it. He hasn't even lost his first life, and more than half of my health is gone. Okay. Victor's Gigaburn looks a lot like Sagat's Tiger Knee. Uh, um. Okay. Uh. All right. between my two favorite Darkstalkers characters. I'm also a little worried though, because Lilith's quite aggressive. Alright, um... Okay. Um... Oh... Uh... Okay. Oh... Oh... Oh, dang it, she got me right there. That move where Lilith spins around like a ballerina is cute. It's called the Merry Turn. Dang it. Okay. Alright. Um. Okay. Alright. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> she was about to jump towards me there. Also, here's a cool fact about Lila. She was voiced by Hiroko Kanishi, who also voiced Roll in Rockman 8 and Rockman Battle and Chase. It works so well because Roll and Lilith are cute and fun girls, so them being voiced by the same woman is just perfect. Got her cool hunting there. Oh! That, I, I thought it was gonna get combat hard there for, for a moment there. Okay. Alright, um. Okay. I'm hoping. Oh! Alright, got it right there. Good. I like that reference to Cinderella there. Now to fight against the main antagonist of this game Jetta. It's time for the ultimate showdown. In arcade mode, Jetta will always be BB Hood 6 enemy before her final one. Seventh is she fought against John Talbain. As you tell on the map screen, there's another medal there, indicating that there's another enemy left to fight. This essentially makes Jetta the sub boss of BB Hood's adventure. Jetta can be a little tricky, especially when it comes to defeating him without losing a single life, but he's not too hard. He's definitely not as hard as to beat as a certain other character in this game. <laughs> I really like Jetta's laugh. It's menacing and intimidating like all great villains. Oh darn it. I move away from that. Um, no. BB Hood's cool hunting is really satisfying to use. Oh wow, that was really close. 
BB Hood's double jump is amazing. It makes avoiding attacks like that a cakewalk. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is one of the last fights of the game, so I usually get worried at this point. Though, despite me panicking quite a bit, Jet is my favorite character to fight against in this game, especially as BB Hood. I've always liked fights where a cute girl goes up against a really amazing villain. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, oh, shoot. <laughs> It's all over for the evil ruler. And now we reach BB Hood's final opponent. Yeah, Lord Raptor's sidekick, Lee Malta, has a crush on Baby Hood. Oh, dang it. We both hit each other. Oh. Oh, dang it. We both hit each other again. Oh. Oh. He's pretty aggressive, too. Oh. oh Okay. Ah, oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh good. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. No, no. Oh no, 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 no. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it, dang it. He's almost down. BB Hood comes out victorious. Or did she? Time for the true final battle. This variation to Bishamon is referred to as the Boro Bishamon. Considering he is the real final opponent, he is brutal. He's extremely fast and aggressive, so you need to be careful when fighting him. Because here's the scariest thing about this guy. You only have one shot against him, and if you lose, it's an instant game over. So here's what I do when fighting against him as BB Hood. Since he does dash attacks a lot of time and tries to hit me with his only Navari, I use BB Hood's missiles, especially the low punch variant, to hit him. And when I'm in the air, I use BB Hood's heavy kick to launch a landmine to hit him as well. 
as his attack so far hitbox says, Hitting him with BB Hood's heavy kick is my best option whenever I'm in the air. Trying to fight him aggressively will most likely result in you taking massive damage. So it's best to find an easy way to beat him and just stick with that. I also love how this playthrough began in Alboria and now it ends in Alboria. It's like everything has come full circle. That was Vampire Savior. This game is very special to me. It's not only one of my favorite fighting games of all time, but also one of my favorite games of all time as well. I love the horror theme, the action is fast paced, the animations are amazing, and the characters are awesome. I always love going back to it, whether it's the arcade version or the Saturn version. Back in 2021, I played this game at the arcade and I loved it so much that I wanted to play it on the Saturn. BB Hood's one of my favorite characters in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, so it felt great to play as in her own game. So I chose to play the Saturn version of Vampire Savior. Not only because it's my favorite version of the game, but it also feels more complete when compared to the arcade version. This version adds Donovan, Huitzel, and Pyron to the roster who were previously not included in the original. And the best part is, they all have endings that were never seen before in any arcade release of the Vampire Savior games. Another thing I'll say here is that after defeating a Boro Bishamon, you'll unlock him as a playable character. To select him in this version, hold the shoulder buttons while selecting Bishamon. And like the former three characters I mentioned, he has an ending in the console versions. It's great that all four characters are playable in this version of Vampire Savior, making the roster essentially complete. I really hope to see a new Darkstalkers game made one day. And maybe it could be a 2D anime fighter with its art style being based on the OVA. Imagine seeing Jetta, BB Hood, Lilith, and QB in the anime's art style. That would be awesome. So yeah, I really love this game and I'm glad I got to play it again for this channel. It's an amazing game and one of my favorite games of all time.
Thank you for watching.